Hey friends! So today I wanted to do a quick video all about sunscreen and in particular I wanted to share a product that I carry with me on the go to refresh my sunscreen throughout the day. So I usually start my day with a BB cream that I kind of custom mix together and that's basically a tinted moisturizer with sunscreen in it. And the sunscreen part of that BB cream comes from Josie Moran. It's her Argan Daily Moisturizer with an SPF of 47. I have another video where I demonstrate making and applying that BB cream and I'll link that below. But this is a great sunscreen to start your day off with. It has the physical sunscreen ingredients of titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which according to my esthetician are the best physical sunscreen ingredients that you can use. So this is a great one for that. On my lips, I love to use the Baby and Kid Sunscreen Lotion by Raw Elements. And for on the go, I love to use this brush on block. So it's really important to keep in mind that your sunscreen and your SPF is really only effective for about two hours. So if you leave your house in the morning and you're going to work or you're gonna be out for more than two hours, it's important to reapply your sunscreen throughout the day. And this is a really great product for doing that. So I am going to demonstrate these two. I've already put on my uh, sunscreen, my morning sunscreen, this one. So again, if you watch that BB cream video that I'm gonna link below, you'll see me applying that uh, Josie Moran sunscreen. So first, I'm going to put the Raw Elements Baby and Kids on my lips. And I really wish they made a smaller container of this. This is a three ounce tin that's pretty big. It's hard to take on the go. They have a stick form of this that's just not real functional. I really wish they did like a one ounce tin. But I keep one of these in my car because again, every two hours you need to apply sunscreen and protecting your lips from the sun is so important. So you lose volume in your lips as you get older. And there are many steps that you can take to avoid losing that volume. And I actually have another video where I demonstrate some products that are fantastic for preserving your natural volume. And this is one I did not talk about in that video, but I love using this on my lips. As you can see, it leaves a very white cast. So I usually uh, put some kind of lip product on top of it. And today I'm going to use one from Kosas, who it, which is a very natural, pure skin uh, uh, makeup line made here in America. And this is the Violet Fury. So this is a very bright color. And I am going to also use a product from Manasseh 7. This is their Cristallo because I don't want to enjoy this at its fullest tint. So you'll see what I'm talking about in a second here. So I'm putting just a little bit of this Violet Fury on and I'm going to use the Cristallo by Manasseh 7, which is a Swedish brand, another very clean skincare line. And this is, product is wonderful at kind of diluting and thinning out really bright lipsticks. And it's gives a very subtle shine. It's not a real glossy shine. But I was able to take that kind of very bright Violet Fury color and kind of the combination of the white undercast and then using the Cristallo to kind of dilute the color and move it around. I have this very wearable, very daytime, kind of joyful poppy color. Okay, so the brush on block. This is a brush product. It's got uh, the powder down here and I actually use the tinted. There is a translucent, but I enjoy the tinted. This is 30 SPF. You have to twist the bottom of it in order to kind of open the product. And then the product will kind of come out. You can see right in the middle that light colored dot. That's basically the product. And by shaking it, you get more to come out. And kind of naturally through the flicking motions that you might use to apply it, the sunscreen, the powder tinted sunscreen will come out. And the tint is unrecognizable. I mean, you're certainly not gonna be like, oh, I missed a spot. It's, I haven't tried the translucent, but I feel like the tinted might as well be the translucent just because it's not a very powerfully tinted product, but I like that. 
So I will use this throughout the day to refresh my sunscreen. So this is a very portable product. You can even brush it on top of your lips after you've put your lip color on. And yeah, it's a great one to keep in your purse. Keep one in the car, keep one by your sliding glass door that goes into your backyard. If you're gonna go out, put one by your front door for when you go and walk your dog. It's just really important to wear sunscreen to protect your skin and it's really important to remember to refresh your SPF and your sunscreen throughout the day. So this is a great one. I've tried some others from other products like Sweat Cosmetics does one, but theirs has a very like floral perfum perfumey scent and this is unscented. And I really love makeup brands that don't add scent because I don't need to put perfume on my face. So the Cristallo is unscented, the Brush on Block is unscented, the Raw Elements that I put on my lips, unscented, Josie Moran, unscented. Hey, even that lipstick from Kosas was unscented. So thank you to all of these clean beauty brands that don't put perfumey junk in their brands. So I am gonna sign off for now. And I hope you'll check out my other videos. Like I said, I'm gonna link that BB cream video because that's a good one. And I talk about sunscreen there as well. And I hope you'll subscribe. I am regularly posting videos on skincare, makeup and lifestyle, sharing brands and products that I've researched stuff from all over the world, luxury, high-end, natural, organic brands, just all kinds of fun stuff. So subscribe if you want to stay up to date on new videos. All right, thanks, have a great day.